Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm the professor with a bow tie. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button and the like button and also the bell button. Also, you can find me on Instagram and TikTok. Today we will talk about how to divide the words in syllables. Dividing a word into syllables is called syllabismos, syllabification, syllabismos. When we write on the line of the notebook and we cannot move the whole word to the next line, we separate it with a dash. But we do not separate it by chance. We must know specific rules. Let's see the rules. The first one. A consonant between two vowels is spelled together with the second vowel. For example, perimeno, to wait. Pe, ri. The letter ro is between two vowels, epsilon and iota. Pe, ri. The letter ro goes with the second vowel. Let's see the second rule. Two consonants between two vowels are again spelled together with a second vowel on the condition that a Greek word begins from these two consonants. Let's see the example. The word tzatziki. You all know what is tzatziki. Za, zi, ki. Z goes with the second vowel, yota. From the z complex begins the word zami. Glass. If we have a word like the word tharos, we have the same letters ro and ro. From these two consonants, a Greek word doesn't begin, so we have to separate them. The, the first ro goes with the first vowel and the, the second ro with the second vowel. Let's see the third rule. When we have three or more consonants between two vowels, then they are spelled together with the second vowel again uh, if a Greek word begins at least with the first two consonants. Let's see a paradigm. The word osfrisi, smell, osfrisi. The second syllable consists of three consonants, the letter sigma, phi and rho. These three consonants are spelled with the second vowel, ita, sfri, because from this word begins another Greek word, the word sfirizo, for example. Let's see the second one, anthropos. We divide the three consonants, an, thro. The letter ni goes with the first vowel because from uh, these consonants, ni and theta, there is no a Greek word to begin with these consonants. The double consonants b, d, g are not separated by spelling. Let's see the example. Babas, dad. And the fifth and the last rule is that diphthongs are considered to be one vowel. For example, f, t, h, s, f. The diphthong f is considered a vowel and so we can separate it from the other syllables. F, T, his. Happy. Thank you very much for watching this episode today. If you like this video and you learned something, hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more.